Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. When a person is working on their life, they're often looking at what is the career that I can get now that I'm in a certain age demographic, now that certain parts of my life have timed out because society has changed, technology has changed, marketing has changed, and practically personal branding has dramatically changed. If you're not a person that is already functioning fully online in LinkedIn or other social media channels that are actually related to business networking, business marketing, entrepreneurship, then you're probably behind the game already. In life, there are two types of companies usually in people's mind. Those in which they're self-employed and those in which they are actually employed. Employees of companies cost corporations millions of dollars every year. First, they cost people money when they leave, depart, quit their jobs. It costs about 30% of the person's annual salary to replace them in a time of attrition, meaning when you lose an employee. Retention doesn't cost quite as much. Secondly, there are people who don't understand their company's vendors or those relationships or the liabilities or legalities that are related to those vendorships. Employees just think, well, I'm just an hourly person schlepping stuff, stocking shelves, and selling the crap we have. Great, congratulations, but what you're selling are million dollar contracts literally virtually million dollar contracts that are represented in your store if you're a box store, if you're some sort of an office supply store, if you're some sort of a grocery store, if you're some sort of a convenience store. That's the type of thing that you're providing. You're providing yourself as a sales liaison for those corporations. Every single vendor in that shop deserves an equal shot is probably true. However, there are some products that we know about that are sold in dollar stores and other inexpensive shops where people who like to save money or people who are living in poverty like to go and frankly some of it is crap but we can't do much about that because we're not the one who is the vendor purchaser or the purchaser or the buyer of that corporation. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about how the world works and how the world works today is if you want to get ahead today then you don't try to impede someone else's rights to get ahead. If you want to get ahead today, then you make networking relationships with everyone because you never know who is in a person's poverty mark who might be a personal president in the next day. We've all seen that film by Will Smith where he really struggled himself, studied his ass off, and got himself out of abject poverty and put himself into a million-dollar earner in some sort of financial world market. That was a true story. People do do this every single day who are hungry for it. When we talk about real life, we talk about the real fact that there are people, relatives, alleged friends, social people, or social workers who are really at the ends of their careers because there's no other place for them to go. It's a dead-end industry. They don't go anywhere but crapping on people's lives most of the time. Sure, sometimes they save a few children. Sure, sometimes they get out of poverty. Sure, sometimes they go into great things. But in truth, most people get impacted in a negative way by those people. So we have to really work at that industry. We have to really look at the mental health industry. We have to really think about getting rid of half of them. The truth is there should be an evaluation of whether or not they can get even into the industry is absolute truth. But more importantly, we should not be teaching those things to people coming in from foreign countries. And the truth is at this stage of the game in America, we do not need any more foreign liaisons or foreign students or sleeper agents for foreign countries living in America.